Hi guys, today we're gonna be trying out these Ross watercolors. I found these guys at Ross and these guys are huge. Because you guys saw in comparison to my regular watercolors, they're huge. And you know, they come in 12 colors and yada yada. I think I only found these guys for like $5 at Ross. And for the size, I think they might be good, you know. If they behave like watercolors. And what's it called? We're about to get to swatching every single one. <laughs> and upon first watch, like, look at that red. It actually looks pretty good. Like, the rest of the colors look good. Orange, it's bright. Like, look at, look at the yellow. Look at that yellow ochre. It looks so nice. And then that black, that black looks so good. Like, look at that black. Uh, and the white was, it was okay. Like, it was barely there. But then again, it's white watercolor. It's not supposed to be there. And here's this drawn-up sketch I did right before. And as you guys can see, this watercolor, it isn't great. But then again, I did water it down. Like, it, it's, it's not going to be great the first time. So, you know, we just got to add layers and whatnot to build up its its opacity and whatnot but yeah it is not great not great the first the first round okay here's where i add my second layer of blue and i don't know if it's just me but like they're not blending or like bleeding in together because these two have not dried yet they have not dried or at least the blue hasn't i mean the purple hasn't it has not dried so they're and they're not bleeding into each other they're just like on top of each other if you know what i mean but they're both still wet both of them are wet and they're not blending or like mixing or bleeding or anything so that confuses me because it's like watercolors tend to bleed tend to bloom tend to do whatever and these guys are not doing any of that like at all so it makes me makes a question if these guys are going to be good quality or not so starting on the wings here because yes these are wings sorry i didn't I, I don't know if it's obvious, but it's a, this is, I'm painting a whale with water wings. I know, I'm so quirky, but, but as I'm starting on the, on the wings, I'm starting to notice that this is not acting like watercolors as much as it really should. You guys are going to see in just a little bit. It is, it just does not level out. It's very thick. Almost as if there's like cornstarch or something in it to like thicken it up, thicken it up and make it like thick, but not pig, but there's no pigment in there. But this does not act like water. Like see right here, see how, see how you can still see the streaks in there, because it's so thick. And even when you water it down, it does not level out like like watercolor does, because like like it's in the name watercolor, water that's kind of colored. Like, it flattens out. It's very liquidy. But, like, look at all those streaks. Like, it's so hard to level out by your on your own. And even with a decent watercolor brush like I have right here, it's so hard to level out. It's so hard to work with. Like, it just won't give you good results. It, like, as if you use something that just a tad bit cheaper. I mean, more expensive. Like... You don't have to get expensive supplies to work with it. Like, um, I saw at Ross, the same store, like, literally, Kings are watercolors that literally work 10 times better for, like, $6. Like, if you can't, spend the extra dollar instead of getting these, because these, these are not it. They're not great. What's it called? It's a good they they work fine, but 
But if this is your first experience with watercolors, <laughs> you're not going to end up liking watercolors, like, at all. And then, I think I ended, I ended up even going back on the wings with the pure watercolor. Like, straight at the tube, watercolor on the wings. And, the, yeah, right here. And the pigment went with it watered down and and straight from the tube is almost exactly the same. Like, you could barely tell a difference. So, yeah, I I can't, I don't know what to tell you. These, these are just not great. Uh, are they fun to work with? Kind of. Kind of are. But they are, they are not great, like, whatsoever. Now I'm going in with the purples. And you see that drop of purple? Like, you see how it's going to look so pigmented, so bright, so deep? But it's really not. It's it's so watery. It's so watery. The pigment isn't even there. It's, it's, it's a whole waste of money. Like, like, you see, I'm just trying to add layers. Just trying to build up everything I can. Because even though I don't work with watercolor, I know how watercolor is supposed to work. But... It's just not great. And again, I'm going with the full, or well, with the pure, pure watercolor, like straight out the container, and it's not that much of a difference between that and the watered down version. Because you're not supposed to use watercolors straight out the tube. You know? And then just like look at this ultramarine, like it's supposed to be this dark color, but it's it's kind of almost the exact same color as the light blue, like like it it looks and it and it says it's gonna be so dark and so rich, but yet it is so so pale in comparison to what it's supposed to be. But look at this close up shot though, look at it. It's like those those art YouTubers who post all those shorts about painting with watercolors. <laughs> you know, it's like that. <laughs> but I could not recommend these watercolors. I think I, I think I know why they are they were at Ross. They were not great and painful to work with. I would not recommend these at all. Look, 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 here's me using it straight from the tube straight from the tube do you see that it looks almost exactly as the watered down version like this is straight from the tube like like yes there might be a tad bit more pigment but it's it's still so under pigmented it is just not great and again it's it's hard to level out it's just it's not great it's not great not great at all